Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about all of those twos samples that I picked up the other day um, or the other haul ago I should say. So I did pick up a whole bunch of these um, samples from the Spanish jewelry company or jewelry uh, brand and perfume house I should say called Tous. Uh, I thank you to all of you who told me how to pronounce this word correctly. I did not know if it was two, if it was tus. I wish I knew Spanish, but you all did say that you do pronounce the S at the end, so it is tus. Um, so again, thank you to all of you who enlightened me on that. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got quite a few fragrances here. I've definitely uh, been able to test all of these. I have thoughts and feelings about them all, and we're just going to jump right in. So let's talk about the one that um, piqued my interest the most. This is the one that I've had my eye on for a very long time. This is Tous Touch. So this one, um, like I say, I have had my eye on this one for a very long time. This is a beautiful perfume. This has the be most beautiful, like comforting, kind of fuzzy, warm, but light feeling to it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and get out some paper here so I can spray these and we can, and I can smell them while I'm talking about them. Uh, yeah, so this one, when you very first spray it, it doesn't smell like much. It does have quite a heavy alcohol um, quality at first, but then it starts drying down. And this is such a beautiful, warm, like classy smelling fragrance. This is that type of fragrance that you would like want your mom to smell like. Or anybody that just brought you peace and comfort. Like that's what this reminds me of. It's just such a warm fragrance, but without being gourmand in any way, without being like sweet or anything like that. So, Touch is Freesia, Lily of the Valley, Lotus, Jasmine, Osmanthus, Tiare Flower, Blueberry, Raspberry, Almond, and Vanilla. It's the almond note in here that is adding that beautiful, cozy, powdery quality, but it's not like an overly powdery fragrance. It's just beautiful. I don't really get the blueberry, or is it the raspberry? Yeah, I don't really get the blueberry or the raspberry. Um, it might be adding just a hint of sweetness. I am mostly just getting the florals, the osmanthus. I don't get a ton of tiari in this either. This is all about kind of the lily of the valley and the jasmine and the vanilla and the almond. It's really, really beautiful. This was probably my second favorite of all of them that I tested. Okay, the next one is the flanker to that fragrance and this one is called Sensual Touch. So this one I think was my number one. I think this was my favorite. <sighs> yes. I enjoy this one just a tad more than the original. But they're, they're still both beautiful but yeah. Ugh, this one, there's something in this one that is so, so good. So, Sensual Touch is Pink Grapefruit, Red Fruits, Violet Leaf, Sambac Jasmine, Orchid, Tiare Flower, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Benzoin. It is the Benzoin in the base of this that is mixing with the brightness of the grapefruit as well as the sweetness from the berries and the vanilla, and it is creating the most beautiful like fresh but warm fragrance. I love this one. Sensual Touch is like the perfect name for it. Ugh, it's just so beautiful. Again, I'm sorry, my cat is like over here on my printer. She's about to make a bed and she's, she's, you know, kind of making some noise. So I apologize for that. She's almost comfortable. So yeah, that is Sensual Touch, and that is my number one of everything I tried. This is a full bottle for me. I think I'm going to get the Original Touch and the Sensual Touch. 
Those are both full bottles. I need to have them. They're on the list now. <laughs> The next one we're going to talk about is another uh, flanker of Touch, and this is Floral Touch. This comes in the most beautiful pink bottle with like gold flowers coming down the front. It's really, really beautiful. I will tell you, I love the bottles from the Touch line. I just think they're so beautiful. Okay, this one is not my favorite. Um, I would not buy a full bottle of this. This is a very kind of sweet, floral, fruity version of Touch, but it still has that kind of soft powderiness in the base, which to my nose is kind of an odd combination. It's still very beautiful, and I could see somebody really, really liking this because it is nice. It's beautiful. It's cozy smelling still, but still fresh. But there's something about the composition of the notes in this one that is just a little bit off to my nose. Okay, so Floral Touch is Mandarin, Bergamot, Lemon, Violet Leaf, Tuberose, Wild Strawberry, Ginger, Amber, Cedar, and Musk. And it's like the... It's almost like the strawberry and the ginger and the tuberose are all kind of fighting each other in this one. And it just smells odd to my nose. It smells good, which is such a weird thing. That it's like there's something addicting. Like, I want to keep smelling this paper. But every time I smell it, I'm like, ooh, it's a little weird. So yeah, that is Floral Touch. That one was not my favorite. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about, we're going to move on to the Moments line. And the first one we're going to talk about in the Moments line is called Happy Moments. This is the one that comes in the turquoise bottle with the big gold flower on the front. It's a very cute bottle. If any of you have smelled the original, I think it's called Toos Gold, let me know because I run across that one in TJ Maxx quite often. I have never picked it up because I had never tried anything from this line before. Um, but I'm really interested in, in, interested in it now. So if any of you guys um, have any experience with that one, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know your thoughts. For sure. Okay. So Happy Moments is Clementine, Pineapple, Daisy, Blue Orchid, Popcorn Accord, Cedar, and White Chocolate. And uh, one of you commented and told me this one had a popcorn accord in it, which I had not tested this one yet, but I definitely smell it now. And this one, again, is not my favorite. Um, this isn't one that I would buy a full bottle of. This one is kind of like the floral touch in that it's got notes that are fighting each other. Uh, the popcorn and the daisy and the sweetness from the pineapple, they're all just kind of fighting each other. And it does, it's another one of those that it smells good, like I want to keep smelling it. But there's something about it that's just a little strange. So yeah, that one is Happy Moments. Um, not my favorite. I probably wouldn't purchase a full bottle of that one. The next one we're going to talk about is another one from the Moments line, and this is called Love. Um, love Moments. Or just Love. Um, this one I don't remember what the full bottle looks like. I think it's cute though, if I remember correctly. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just went through all of my like carded samples and samples and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I just separated out all of my lucky scent samples and organized them. I organized everything. If you guys are interested in seeing my huge bag of just samples and stuff, definitely let me know. I wouldn't go through each one individually, but just um, I could definitely show you like what I've got and what kinds of things are in each bag and how I've got them organized. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, definitely let me know and I will do a video. I've got more than, I mean, I could probably sell every single bottle of my perfume and just live off of samples for the rest of my life. And I would have perfume literally for the rest of my life, probably. It's insane. Oh, okay, so your moments, this one's weird. <laughs> um, this is blackberry, apricot, tangerine, cardamom, jasmine, lily of the valley, peony, white musk, and patchouli. There is something about the apricot and the tangerine and the 
and the cardamom and then the there's kind of like a dry peony note in this this is another one that all of the notes are kind of fighting each other and it just ends up smelling a little bit odd I don't love this one I'm gonna be honest I didn't love any of the moments ones very much um, I probably wouldn't purchase a full bottle of any of from the moments line but with that being said they're still nice fragrances and I could still totally see why somebody would like them because they are very nice the clementine is probably the most prominent note in this one it's juicy it's like a juicy clementine note it's nice out of all of the moments ones well I need to smell the your moments again because I forget what that one is like but this is one of the better ones I think okay Sorry, the whole time we were talking about love moments, not your moments. I'm so sorry for that. We are moving on to your moments now. So love moments is the one we were just talking about. And um, yeah, that one is one of the better ones. Still not my favorite, but one of the better ones. Okay, now moving on to your moments. This one is uh, pretty nice. I think this was my favorite out of all of the moments line. This one was definitely my favorite, so Love Moments is Pink Grapefruit, Pink Pepper, Raspberry, Violet, Lily of the Valley, Iris, Sandalwood, Cedar, and Musk. You definitely get the pink pepper in this. It's, uh, it's peppery. It's definitely peppery, but not in a bad way because I typically don't like pepper. I don't like a strong pepper note in fragrance. And this one, I wouldn't say it's like a strong pepper note, but it's a very present pepper note. It's really, really well done in this. It's very nice. You're definitely getting uh, the crispness from the pink grapefruit. There's a little bit of sweetness coming through from the raspberry. Again, you're getting that kind of pretty dry white floral smell from the lily of the valley. This one is a little bit more floral, and I remember when I had this one on my skin and it dried down, this one reminded me a lot of Miss Dior as well, like the new version of Miss Dior. Or if you guys have ever smelled um, the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter, uh, or that kind of line of fragrance, it smells like that. So if you're familiar with that or with like the newer version of Miss Dior, that is what Love Moments smells like. So. This one I enjoyed, but I've got countless bottles of Miss Dior, so I don't need anything like this in my collection. But it is a very nice one. Okay, and then the last one was one that I adored. I love this. This is another one that I'm going to need to get a full bottle of. It is so beautiful. This is called Oh the Origin. And this one was really, really pretty. There's a flanker to this one as well, which I'm really interested in because I feel like I will like it. Oh, this one is gorgeous. This is getting back to that beautiful, like warm, fuzzy base of the touch line. But this one is a little bit sweeter. Oh, so, so beautiful. This is tangerine, lemon, black currant, rose, orris, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and ambrox. And this is gorgeous. You are getting the brightness from the lemon and the tangerine and then a little bit of sweetness from the black currant. There's just a touch of rose, but it's not overpowering. It's not overdone. And then you are getting the beautiful orris. This is all about the orris. So if you know that you like orris, you would like this. If you know you don't like orris, you would probably not like this because it is very heavy on the orris and the beautiful tonka bean and the ambrox this is stunning this is one that I must have a full bottle of oh it is so so good so that one is uh, oh the origin and I will do a quick recap for you so out of the touch line I really really enjoyed the original touch and the sensual touch I think that these are definitely worth looking into they're beautiful fragrances um, I did not enjoy the floral touch uh, very much this one was not my favorite um, from the moments line 
I really did not enjoy the love moments or the happy moments. Those weren't my favorite. I really did kind of enjoy the your moments, but um, it smells a lot like Miss Dior to me, so it, I don't feel like it's worth me buying a full bottle of, but if you are into those type of fragrances, um, this is a really nice one. And then this Oh The Origin was just oh, off the charts for me. I loved it so much because it has such a heavy Oris and Tonka bean um, base that, and I just, uh, I adore it. It's so cozy and comforting and it smells so good. Um, appropriate for all times of the year, like any time, this would just be a great one. Um, as far as like performance, these all performed pretty well. I would say that the, um, the ones that I liked the most, the Touchline and the O, uh, these are the better performers of all of them. These definitely hung around um, for a good six hours before they kind of faded away. I don't think you're going to get like the best performance out of these, but they're definitely not bad either. Um, these are ones that I would totally feel comfortable wearing to work. These are all kind of crap. This entire line, every single one that I got, I don't think would be offensive in any way to anybody. I think these would all kind of be crowd pleasers. Um, but these three, I definitely thought were very um, kind of middle of the road as far as performance went. And yeah, they definitely hung around for a decent amount of time. Um, now, the probably least, or the ones that probably performed the maybe not so good were the ones from the moments line now um, not that they didn't perform good but these ones tend to be a little bit more fruity a little bit more citrus based um, they've got a lot of those kind of fruit and citrus notes in them which just by nature uh, don't hang around as long as some of the other kind of you know almond and tonka and oris and those types of ingredients tend to stick around a little bit longer so these ones definitely um, I got a good probably four hours out of each one I I didn't feel like they were like terrible performers they just they are what they are they're warm you know kind of warmer weather fragrances they're lighter fragrances um, they're kind of more youthful smelling and they're just not you know they're not horribly performing perfumes but Again, not a 10, 12 hour performing perfumes either. And then same with the Floral Touch. This one is kind of in between the moments and then the other touch fragrances. This one is very middle of the road. This one, it definitely um, hung around a little bit longer than any of the moments ones. And in, it's probably on par with the other touch fragrances, but I think because this again has that kind of fruity quality to it, it kind of faded away just a, a little bit sooner than maybe the three that I really really enjoy so yeah out of all of them these were definitely the top performers and which I was glad because these were all the ones that I really really enjoyed these are the three that you will definitely be seeing in a haul video soon because um, I need full bottles of these so Anyways, guys, that is my kind of overview of all of the fragrances that I picked up from Tous. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.